Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha Allah, kohaloyimla, yahweh, bahashim yahushai, bahashim, rechachakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Aki Manakwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, bahashim yahushai, to the best of their ability. This is Yahkhananawa, just coming at you with another quick lesson, and praying that it's edifying by the Spirit, right? So this guy right here that you see on the screen, man, through. Young Texas father charged after feeding four-month-old baby with gasoline. Can't make it up, man. And, and this is um, flood behavior. I call it uh, fire behavior because um, the scriptures talks about just like the days of Noah or like the days of Lot. It's going to be that way when um, just before the Lord comes. And there was a lot of wickedness going on, man. <laughs> But um, that Matthew 24 and 12, it says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's one of the things that um, the disciples, well, the Lord, Yahweh side, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. He explained to the disciples when they asked him what will be happening in the end days. Matter of fact, let's just get it. Crazy, bro. And, that, and it's also proved, too, that, um, you know, hey, we are the children of Israel, man. We are under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because our people used to be tender and delicate towards each other. Now they, you know, uh, who would do that to their 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 seed, man? That lets you know, like, the type of world that we're living in, um, and just how vicious it is, you know, um, living under Esau Edom's um, rule. Right, twenty-five. Let's see, twenty-four. Matthew twenty-four. Let's get verse three. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. So, these are things that the disciples is asking. And the Lord gave them a, a, a nice list of things that would be happening just before his coming. So, this is prophetic. That's the reason why we have to go into these things. Um, um, speak on all prophecy. It's all prophecy from wars, rumors of wars. We see things on stories on that. We're reporting on it. Famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places. We're, we're speaking on those things. These are things that the Lord um, said that would be happening before it's coming. You know, and there's a whole another list of things as well. And um, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Second Timothy chapter three, ver starting at verse one, talking about perilous times, difficult times will be in the end days as well. And people struggling, man. You know, um, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, of course, that's a, a a spirit of vengeance that was on this guy, you know, but he's more than likely probably struggling. And, and, and you know, he could be a goddamn Edomite. He could be a chocolate covered cover Edomite as well, too, because they actually gave him a bond. You know, generally when they do stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? When they, you know, because they generally don't give um so-called black people um bonds when they do shit like that. And it's not a skin color thing. <laughs> This whole this 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 is a it's a DNA thing. If you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you can look like a Japanese person. But if you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you will be an Israelite. And we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So we blended in with a lot of other nations. The men have had sex with the women of these nations because the seed goes through the man. And over time, of who knows how many generations, where you just we just don't have the look no more. We don't have our look. We don't, you know, we, you know, we, we're just looking like the other nations, and that's going off into Revelation as well. You know what I'm saying? As far as like um, the vision that John had, but anyway, going on, this is. Let's just jump to the point here. Verse 12 is what he said. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, because there's so much sin out here. So it's so people are so immune to the bullshit now. To the point where it's just like, whatever. They'll film you getting fucked up, man. They won't even call um, 911 services for you. They'll, they'll, li they'll live stream your ass getting messed up. And break up a whole bunch of likes. <laughs> That's it, man. That's a bunch of subscribers, man. But let's go back to the story. It says the 24-year-old man from Paris, Texas, is facing charges for allegedly attempting to kill his four-month-old daughter by giving her gasoline. According to the report by the Paris Police Department, Brigerman allegedly gave his daughter gasoline over the weekend, prompting a swift response from law enforcement. 
and emergency services. He was apprehended a short distance away as he attempted to flee the scene. So I'm not sure how they, you know, I don't know how that went. And a shocking confession. Brigerman admitted to intentionally giving his baby gasoline in, a, in, in an effort to end her life. He was arrested on charges of attempted capital murder and is currently being held at Lamar County Jail with a bond set at 255000 reflecting the seriousness of the charges against him. And that's the reason why I say he could be a, a Edomite. There, there are so-called white people that look like this. And I know that may sound strange to a, to a new um, listener, but there's, you know, the skin color doesn't matter. You're, you know, it, it, in slavery, a lot of so-called white men slept with so-called black women. A lot of those children came out looking like the color of this man right here. But they were actually the seed of the so-called white man because the male carries the seed. And you can get that in, um, you know, Numbers chapter one, where it talks about um, your pedigree. The, your, your, the progenitor comes from the dad because overall sperm that's within a man's um, ball sack so to speak not to sound graphic those are already kids they the woman is just earth she is like um, um, you know needed as far as like um, soil to plant that seed in so that the seed can get the nutrients it needs and then the seed grows and the, and the, and the fruit comes forth that's the, the the man's seed. That's what he that child is exactly what that man is. So he could be just because he looks like a so-called black man, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's a so-called black man. So that's that that's milk that um, you know, or that's some some things that when you're first coming into truth, you have to really realize this is not a skin color thing. You can't look at somebody and say, Oh, that's a so-called white man. Because he looks like he's a so-called white man. It's Israelites that look like um, Donald Trump. <laughs> you know, it's going to be Israelites that look like, you know, all different nations. Right. But, you know, by the spirit. With the bond thing, you know, I, you know, you just kind of put two, two and two together. Or maybe, you know, two hundred and fifty five thousand dollars. They probably just figure, well, fuck it. He ain't going to he ain't going to come up with that anyway. So, you know, that ain't nothing, you know. But overall, they generally don't give. um Jake's no bond over shit like this. They'll hold your ass. Okay, but it says the initial investigation revealed that the mother had briefly left the infant in Brigerman's care, unaware of the potential danger. Like how you not how you not know this nigga this crazy? Come on, bro. You had to have seen something. It is still unclear if Brigerman has obtained legal representation. Under Texas law, attempted capital murder is a first degree first degree felony. Carrying um, a prison sentence ranging from five years to in life imprisonment. The case underscores a disturbing trend. This is what a point that I wanted to get to. This case d underscores a disturbing trend of children being harmed by their own parents. Why? Because that Matthew 24 and 12. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. It says, with poisoning becoming an alarming method of such crimes. Yeah. There's been a lot of stories on that, parents poisoning their children, man. The rise in these tragic occurrences has sparked concern about the underlying factors driving parents to, to such extremes. And what was driving them to such extremes is Esau Edom, the so-called white man in his kingdom. It, it, it is an oppressive place. You know? Matter of fact, let's get a scripture real quick. Let's get another one. And it's going to be that way until it's over with. It's only going to get worse. Because people are, are, are very uptight right now. People are um um, people don't have patience anymore. Okay, it says Proverbs twenty nine and two, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. See, this is why this is going on because wicked people are ruling. The so called white man, the so called white race, Esau, Edom, he's ruling. That's the reason why these people are feeling the way that they're feeling. Right. Let me get that part again, man. It says the rise in these tragic occurrences has sparked concern about the underlying factors driving parents to such extremes, highlighting the urgent need for increased support for families in child care. <laughs> Bridgman's admission of guilt also underscores the vulnerability of children, emphasizing the importance of vigilance in safeguarding their well-being to prevent such Horrific acts from happening again, man. Look, you're not about to prevent nothing. <laughs> you're not about to prevent nothing, man. This, hey, this is an ongoing thing, and it's only gonna get worse. 
And he could be a Jake. But let's get one of the curses, though. Deuteronomy chapter 28. So now you have the curses and the blessings, right? So let's get verse 1 here. It, it, it explains, you know, the Lord is going into a contract with the children of Israel. So verse 1, he says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and the true name of the Lord is Yahweh. When you see all caps, L-O-R-D, that's Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. That's the true name of the Father. Not Allah, not God, not the Most High, not these titles, man. His name is Yahweh. The Apostle Gabar, he just went off into um, common names and um, proper names um, in a lesson the other day. You know, the proper name for the Lord, the Father, the Most High is Yahweh. Meaning he exists with the existing one. And the proper name of his son, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. All right. So it, 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 let me start this back from the top. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Right? So, it goes on. It gives a whole list of blessings. We will be the head and not the tail. We will be the lenders, not the borrowers. We will be, you know, just above all the nations. And, 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 and there was a time period where we had this um, this status. But, you know, um, prof prophecy and these curses, you know, us being disobedient. But also prophecy is the reason why we're in captivity right now. But when our Lord comes, hey, this is our last captivity. We're about to get the fuck out of here. See, that's why that Matthew 24 and 12 comes in so handy. It may sound harsh, but these types of things got to happen before the Lord comes. So, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of bittersweet. You know, it's vexing to see and hear things like that, you know, when, when, when things happen to children like that. But at the same time, too. It gives us a, um, a sense of joy, so to speak, because we know that these things must happen before the Lord comes. Right. So it means that we're closer. Right. So now when you get to verse 15, it goes off into the curses. Where, you know, it just pretty much it, it just reverses on what was said in verse one. It says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh thy God, to observe, to, to do all his commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. And so here's one of the curses right here. Let me get verse 46 too to show that it's a sign and a wonder. And it, it, it would be a, a, a pretty much a, a. A stigma for Israel, man. Verse 46, and it, it, it reads, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these curses are upon us as a sign. As a as like a banner, they're they're like a logo on us. So let's get to the um verse 54 here. This is one of the curses. I'm gonna read this one off because this just goes with, with the story basically. But it's plenty of them. Um read the whole chapter, it's 68 verses, man. You'll see that all these curses fit the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to a T. And there's signs on us. You know, this is a logo to show you who the real children of Israel are. Because those people that's over in the Holy Land, they're, they're not going through any of this shit. Right? Verse 54 says, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. <laughs> right? So... Just, just nigga, man. Just heinous, man. Just, just, just treacherous, man, to your own children. That's one of them curses. Curses. It's one of them curses. The only reason why I said this could have been an Edomite because they gave him a bond, but it depends on where he's at. You know what I'm saying? They, who knows? Uh, you know who knows? You know what I'm saying? The situation, but you know, the, hey, this is Jake type shit, though. This is Jake type stuff. Israelites, man, under those curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and being in captivity for all this time. That's the problem, man, being in this captivity, you know, being under the rule of Esau, Edom. So that Proverbs um, 20, um, 29 and 2, it says that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked are in, in um, bear's rule, you know, the people mourn. That's why these people are mourning, man. The people, 
don't know where their next is coming from. Shit is getting more expensive. People are, are, are making decisions as to, you know, uh, what to pay. You know, should I get gas in the car to keep on going back to work? You know, I got, we need the phone. They just juggling as to which bills to pay first and which bills to leave unpaid because they just don't have it. And that can be stressful on a family, man. You know, especially women. You know, women, single women that's by themselves working two or three jobs trying to make it happen. Three, four kids, you know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, it's getting rough out here. People's attention span ain't nothing. You know? Patience. Everybody is on a damn pill. Some type of um um, um some type of uh, uh something to just settle them. Drinks, drugs, you know? People just want to just sink off into a damn corner, man, and not even come outside, man. It, it, people are stressed. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's a lot going on out here. But let me get this, though. Because they're talking about they want to find out the underlying um, reason as to why these parents. It was a lady yesterday. I seen another article with this lady. She, um, you know, she was poisoning her damn baby with some damn Benadryl or some shit like that. A damn Edomite woman. But it's been a lot of that going on as of late, man. A lot of that has been going on. But um, this is, let's get Baruch. Uh, what is it? Baruch 4 and 32. Oh, let me see. Nope. Let me see. Let me start at verse 30. Take good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. So we're waiting on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. We're waiting on that city to come. We're waiting on our Lord, man, to get us the fuck out of the Esau. That's what Luke chapter 1 is going into. If you read through Luke chapter 1, it gives you the whole breakdown as to why the Lord is really coming. He's coming to get the children of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, out of the hands of your enemies. Read through Luke chapter 1 and see why the Lord is coming. It give you the breakdown. It give you the whole hookup as to why he's coming. He's not coming for no other nations. He's not coming to save um, um, all these heathen that have the children of Israel in their, in their grasp. He's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies, man. Yep. Verse 31, it says, Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. See, that's why all these countries are miserable. All these European countries are miserable as hell. You got to see that that miserable last um, um, Olympics. People just looking miserable on TV. You know, just look at it. You know, the mirth is gone. It says on um, verse 32, miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desola desolation, right? For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude and her pride shall be turned into mourning. And this is what's coming to um, Esau, man. Especially Babylon the Great, good old America. No one's having fun here anymore. Everything is watered down and trash. You know, people are just trying to survive. <laughs> That's it. People are just trying to survive, man. But this is a, a dirty, heinous ass crime. Look at this doofy fucking nigga, man. Anyway, it's a lock here, man, for the language. But God, I leave, bro. You can't tell me we don't need out of here. We need out of here. This would not be happening in our kingdom, man. Our, our, in our kingdom, man, we're gonna be uh, uh, super happy over every single child that's in our in our um in our um, um world, man. Ain't gonna be no, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh no. Uh, come on, bro. Ain't gonna be no nowhere near no shit like this. We need out of here, cause you're living in maniac world. This hey, this flood behavior though. I call it flood behavior. The scripture talks about just like the days of Noah. All manner of wickedness going on. Bunch of damn twerk fests, uh, uh, OnlyFans, drug users, and, 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 and damn pedos. <laughs> you know, just a bunch of weirdoism and freak, freak nickism, man. Just nastiness everywhere you go, man. You know, you got to go to a damn supermarket and there's some goddamn six foot eight Jake with a blonde wig on. You know, uh, 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 you know, talking to you like, you know what I'm saying? He's a four-year-old girl. You know what I'm saying? With that dumbass voice. Trying to seduce you. You know, just seduction and, and on every level, man, of wickedness in this place, man. 
And this is why we need out of this place. But hey, continue on praying for the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom too, though. We're not we're not letting up on that. We wait, we pray for more of this shit to happen. We're praying for more and more of these stories to happen. Let's see though. They I don't think this is one of them. Generally, they'll have some more bullshit stories in the not sure what uh I seen this article before though. I think it was yesterday or the day before I seen this article. But this this wicked nigga, man. They gave this wicked nigga a bond. I mean, it's uh, anyway. Story kind of got a few holes in it, I guess. You know, it, they're not giving everything up, but because it's just like, okay, what you put it down? You just made a bottle with put gasoline in it. How did you do? How did you do that? Because you know, certain plastics, like a, a baby bottle, unless it was like a maybe a glass bottle or something like that. That shit would have melted. Gas melts um, um, certain um, 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 plastics. You, that's why you got to have a special container to um, put gas in. You know, when you, you know, getting it for a lawnmower or something like that. They don't, you can't just roll up and, and, and put gas into a, a, a damn Fago bottle. <laughs> you know, that shit will shrink, shri shrivel that shit up, man. It'll shrink it. You know, it, it, it'll pretty much kind of dissolve it, so to speak. So I'm not sure as to how he was doing it. Just weird, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and 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 you and you mamas, you keep coming across these goddamn weirdos, man. You 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 had to have seen some signs of this nigga being crazy. Come on, you don't leave the baby with this clown. You ain't hear no no no. I mean, he didn't say nothing about not wanting a baby. And you know that on the flip side of that too, just think about it. Just. Okay, the baby was four months. Just think maybe, yeah. Uh, shit, that baby was even lucky to even... See, Esau, you can abort a baby. But when you really think about his system, what's the difference from a four-month-old and, 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 and a baby that's being, um, you know, um, where, where this so-called white man, he's saying, well, that's not a life. So this man is just a damn weirdo. He's a weirdo, man. You're not a you're not a you're not a, a, a human unless you make it out of the womb. What about the whole time that that baby is growing? See, this is Esau Edom's system. He doesn't care anything about no damn children, man. He doesn't care, and all this stuff is just people are becoming immune to um tragedy, man. It's like people are um real callous, and it's hey that's that's what's coming too for um. You brothers, man, you brothers and you sisters that sent to this truth is coming to a point where you're going to be callous. Not saying, you know, doing shit to people. I'm talking about callous as in, like, fuck y'all, <laughs> you know. I was listening to a brother last night. Um, he was talking about, um, I guess, his niece and how she's turned 18. I guess she's going off to college or whatever. And, you know, I guess, you know, he was talking about how he didn't want to overstep his boundaries by, you know, basically speaking with her. But I'm like, hey, look, man, shit, hey, it is what it is, man. He's because he's saying she's such a sweetheart, this, 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 and this, and who knows, you know, man. Hey, hey, those that appear to be sweethearts, you know, telling she probably already doing nastiness. But you know, he was kind of saying, you know, pretty much talking it, you know, to the point of her being this sweet little innocent girl that's about to go off to college, and he knows how it is. But I'm like, shit, man, you can't do no more pray for her, and if and if it's the Lord's will, he's gonna, you know. You know, um, cover her and pull her into this truth because if she's not a part of the elect, she's gonna be destroyed anyway. So, you know, <laughs> what can you say? Really, you know, um, two thirds, Jake, man, you can't even. What, what you praying for him for? Anyway, I'm gonna end out there, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. This shit is um, ridiculous. Edgar James Briggerman, this guy, man, that, that 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 even the nigga name sound like a damn Edomite. He could be a chocolate cover cover Edomite, but anyway. The love of many is waxing cold because iniquity shall abound. That's that's pretty much what's going on here. And, and um, that Second Timothy. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. I mentioned that. A you know, whole list of, of flood behavior right here. What's the lock? Yeah, I want chapter three. Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. <laughs> yeah, that was a very unholy damn thing to do.
and unthankful. You should be thankful for children. Verse 3. Without natural affection. See? In the NLT it says they will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. See? They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride and look and love pleasure rather than Yahweh. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like that. Like, yeah, man, be callous. You got to stay the fuck away from these people. Fuck them, man. Because it's coming to a point where you ain't going to have nothing to do, but uh, you, you ain't going to be able to do nothing but lock your doors on them. It's going to be certain family members that's going to be coming to your house. You, you better not let in. <laughs> Shit, they might have somebody chasing them. You know, you, 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 it's gonna come a point where you just gonna have to probably look out through it, look, look, be looking through your blinds and see one of your family members get the business, man. During during Jacob's trouble, man, you just never know. You know, but you know, it's just time to start working up that toughness, man. Working up that tough skin for uh, uh, this place, man, because we're about to see some shit we've never seen before. <laughs> and I'm praying to you, how about Shimmy Shai, man, that we're ready for it. You know what I'm saying? What's to come? Pray for mercy. Continue on just praying for pray for your safety throughout the day. Walk circumspectly as well. You know what I'm saying? Um study Ephesians 5 and 15. <laughs> See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeem at the time because the days are evil. The days are evil. And also mentioning time, because the Lord He said to um walk circumspectly. I mean, um, to um, measure all the times diligently. So those things that he mentioned, the wars, rumors of wars, the pestilence, the famines, earthquakes in diverse places, um, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. We just read uh, perilous times will be in the last days. So it keeps mentioning time, 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 because time is cl clicking down. The timer, it, it, the, the timer is, 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 is clicking, man. This place is, is, is about out of here. And Esau knows that he had but a short time. That's that Revelation 12 and 12. It says that he's going to come down with great wrath because he because he knows that he had but a short time. You hear him talking about that that that, um, that orangutan pox. They out here talking about the new gorilla, the silverback gorilla pox on, on y'all asses. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation. Nearer than when we believe the night is far spent the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness let us put on the armor of light see and knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep we can see it the prophecies are coming to pass we, we, we all you got to do is look at the news and the scripture says to watch and pray too if you're not watching and praying then then you you're then you you're gonna more likely get caught up you're gonna get caught off guard you're supposed to be watching for these prophecies to play out and you're supposed to be praying consistently praying the scripture says to pray without ceasing <laughs> you're living in very nasty times you should be praying about everything man lean lean not to thy own understanding it says acknowledge your how in all of his ways that the, that your steps will be ordered i'm roughly paraphrasing but i'm gonna end out there man a if this don't let you know that we in the end this flood behavior right here and then, hey, the Lord is not dealing with you, man. And and you're just going to more than likely uh, 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 either get the business in these streets as a two-third or whatever. You, you or The Lord might set your ass up to go and get that chip, which I'm praying, man. I'm praying, man. You don't want no parts of what's to come. Your best bet is to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for mercy and, 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 and safety and protection over your you and your household, man. So with that, Kwame Yashala and a Bible Boy.